In this video, I'll be showing you how to create and customize your own blog post page using Shogun. Let's get started. From the page creation menu, you're met with four main options to create a page. Standard, which is used to display basic information for something like a home page or a landing page. Blog post pages designed specifically with blogs in mind. Product pages for increased customization of product detail pages. And finally, collection pages for customizing how customers view your collections. As we're creating and customizing our own blog posts today, I'll select the blog post option to move forward. You can choose to create a blog layout from scratch if you'd like to completely customize all aspects of your page, or to speed things up, you can select a pre-existing template to build your blog posts off of. In this example, for the sake of simplicity, I'll start with a blank page. So before getting started, I need to input the name, the title of my blog post. It's important to know that you can always come back and change this later. Next, make sure the category of the blog is properly selected and then click create page. And from here, it's important to fill in a couple of the main details for the blog post before we change some of the bigger elements. So head up to the top right corner, select the icon with three dots and select page settings. Now here, it's also really important to note that the availability of these settings will vary based on whether they're available on your e-commerce platform. The usage of these settings can also depend on your store's theme. There are a number of more in-depth advanced options here for avid bloggers to fill in, but for now there are a couple basic pieces of info that we can fill out towards the bottom. So scrolling down, I'll select article as the page layout. I'll input the author of the blog post, which is myself. I'll write a brief summary of what my post is going to cover, add a handful of tags using commas to separate each tag, and upload a featured image for the post. And once you've input the information you'd like to cover, click save page and you're good to start customizing and writing your blog post. So just as an example, I've written a post here just to give you an idea of what a blog post might look like. And remember that you can use elements to customize your blog post further. So for example, inputting a call to action button here could help lead your readers to another page or another one of your products. Once you've written your blog post and you're ready to go, click save and then publish to officially publish your blog post. And for future use, to speed up your blog post creation process, once you've established a design and a layout that you're happy with, Saving the post as a template allows you to reuse this layout for all of your future blog posts. Now here, I'd encourage you, don't be afraid to play around with all of the customization that's available. Blog posts are a great way to both inform website visitors and to lead them further into your site. After hitting publish, head back to your site's blog section to confirm its publication, and you're good to go. Well, that's all for this video. Good luck with your blog posts, and I'll see you in the next episode.